okay, so um, I totally get that I look absolutely awful today. Um, but I wanted to make a video because I have um, finally published my first novel. Um, I did it just as an ebook on um, a KDP. Um, it was ended up being 98,000 words long. And it is a fantasy novel. It's called The Tabitha Tales. And it's aimed at probably a female audience. Uh, I would say between the ages of about 16 and 24. There is a bit of um, sexual content in there. Uh, but there's nothing too explicit. So uh, I would say kind of new adult-ish um, age. So yeah, on uh, the first day that I put it up, I sold eight copies. Uh, I think it was mostly just friends who were buying it. So... It's not like I'm selling millions. I sold one yesterday. Uh, but it did actually put me into the top 100 on the Amazon historical fantasy bestseller list. So I was very excited at that. And I even took a screenshot um, on my computer just so that I can show people 20 years down the line that I actually made a bestseller list. But now I'm working on my second, well it's actually my third book. My first book is a book about what's called uh, A Boy Called Brick and it's about uh, a, a girl who meets a boy called Brick and they fall in love uh, at swimming lessons and uh, it's, it's a love story and he ends up swimming the channel and it, so it follows what happens when he swims the channel and it's basically just all about their love story. But I don't want to talk about that one too much because I have actually sent it out to some agents um, to go traditional publishing route. And uh, one of them picked it up. They're just reading the full manuscript, so it's not like they've picked it up to, to take it on. But it's very exciting because they've still got it. So I'm just waiting to see what happens with that. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that something happens with it but in the meantime I've put this new one on Amazon and um, I'm currently 30,000 words into my third novel which is uh, I haven't got a name for it yet but it's I've decided to try and dip my toes into magical realism uh, I don't know if anyone has ever tried writing magical realism it's it's interesting to say the least yeah, sometimes I don't know if I've pushed it a little bit too far with the magic and it's not enough realism, but we'll see. Uh, the book that I have written, or, or that I am writing now, is... Um, so the, the premise of the story is that there is a... Well, I work in a, a forest at the moment, in real life, and... Uh, it's like a holiday place where they have luxury log cabins and I look after the hot tubs that are on the decking of each of the cabins. And so I've set it in one of these places, just like where I actually work. Um, but I work in Hampshire. This one is set up in Cumbria, in the Lake District. And the idea of the story is that this site has just opened sort of six months ago. People have just started working there, going there for holidays and dog walks and then all of a sudden this tragedy happens where uh, a local boy walks into their retreat cafe that's on the site and he opens fire on everyone who's in the cafe and kills them all, kills himself and it's about the aftermath. Uh, I know this story has been done before within a school setting uh, because obviously it's in the news a lot uh, because of all the things that happen in America but this one is uh, a little bit different because of the magical realism uh, so instead of it being more of a uh, political cultural look at how things pan out after these kind of things happen it's more kind of internal it's looking more at the psychology of the people who are involved in it and it does split into three different paths so there's, um, it follows three different 
girls who should have been in the in the cafe area at that time when the shooting was and they weren't for some reason so there's Hannah who is a uh, a law student who's uh, working at the, the forest while she's studying um, and her life is on this path where she's going to end up being a solicitor but it's not really what she wants to do it's it's as if her father's pushing her into the career so it kind of examines what she's going to do there there's Janie who is just a little bit lost uh, and you find out why halfway through the novel and then there's India who also has been through a bit of a tragedy before and is trying to deal with a relationship that she doesn't know how to, what path to follow with that. Um, and this person arrives at the forest just after the, the event and he kind of almost fixes them all or, or gives them some direction. So it, yeah, it's looking at the psychology and how they, they respond to this, this tragedy that happened and how this person helps them through it. Anyway, the point of this video was just to say that I am still writing, I have published this first novel and although it's not, you know, a bestseller, it's so exciting that it's up on Amazon. It's called The Tabitha Tales, it's under my name R.D. Hessem, so if you do want to go check it out, please do. I also would like some tips on how to go about promoting it. I mean, I'm doing a few YouTube channels. I'm trying to review a few books. I've put my running things up on um, on YouTube as well. So I'm getting my name out there. I want to focus, obviously, mostly on the books and the, the writing. Um, but it's just a case of figuring out how to, to promote myself and get people to know that my books are out there now. So if anyone has any ideas, that would be great. That's the end of today's video. Just wanted to pass on the good news that it's finally out. I'll try and have another video out sometime this week. Thanks, bye.